These are simulations for occupational ill health, in particular in construction. So uh, we have uh, a number of uh, typical construction ill health conditions. The two I have here today are vibration white finger, or hand arm vibration, which is, uh, is, is this one, and also dermatitis. Uh, we, we also have simulations for occupational asthma, for musculoskeletal disorders, with problems with, with the lower back and the, uh, uh, and the arms and, and shoulders and so forth. Um, and we also have uh, one for tinnitus, which affects uh, hearing and, and hearing loss. So this is the um, vibration white finger a tactile glove. It's quite tricky to put on because uh, everything's very tight. For this particular simulation, because vibration white finger, um, as well as actually causing tingling and vibration, it also restricts the, the, the movement. So um, on the back of these fingers here uh, are, are sort of spines which will actually uh, uh, you know, restrict how much I can move my fingers. We've got vibrating uh, pads in the fingers which then by operating the switch you're not going to be able to feel this but those fingers are now vibrating and it's just very uncomfortable. We've been using them through the National Construction College, which is um, a, one of the main trainers of apprentices in construction. So we have a, a PhD student at the moment who is using the uh, loose skins, we call them, Loughborough University skins, because they, um, they're sort of a bit like putting a, putting a skin on. We're using them with these young, young workers, these apprentices, and we're finding that compared to their traditional way of learning, which is chalk and talk, sit and listen, maybe watch um, a video or maybe watch a, a slideshow, that these being much more interactive, particularly uh, you know, th these ones here, which are the dermatitis uh, gloves, um, where you can actually wear them. So we can, we can get the young uh, workers to put these on and have a laugh and chat and, and, and you know, poke fun at each other. It, it's, it's a way really of engaging them and helping them to understand, hopefully, to talk to the trainers, to talk to each other and to say, hey, you know, it's good fun for the moment, but what would it be like to have this condition uh, permanently? Ill health um, is a big, big problem for construction. It's a problem in, in many industrial applications as well. And the reason it's a problem is that compared to safety, it doesn't happen straight away. So if you have a 17, 18, 21, 25 year old worker, they probably think they're invincible and they don't take seriously the warnings and designers don't take seriously the warnings because occupational ill health happens slowly. These particular simulations uh, developed from something that was done a number of years ago at Loughborough University, initially for the Ford Motor Company which was a suit that young designers could wear such that they then felt old. So it, it sort of restricted their movement, you know, the, the, there was a collar around the neck so that it was hard for them to turn. Uh, there were glasses that made it harder to see things. And the idea of that was to enable 25-year-old designers to have some appreciation of what it was like to be 55, 65, whatever. And so in designing a car, they could then make it more accessible because rather than being a 25 year old sort of you know just moving and turning things and pushing things they had some appreciation of what it was like so really we 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 had that um, uh, work that was already done and we felt well there's a real opportunity to apply this to um, ill health conditions rather than just aging and the conditions we're looking at are all the major things that affect ill health in construction there's more people lose days at work through health problems than accidents there's more people that die as a result of occupational ill health than die from accidents. The vibration white finger is, is caused by continual use and overuse of vibrating machinery. Now that can be uh, handheld drills uh, for drilling into walls and so forth. I um, mean it could even be uh, outside of construction, it could even be hair, you know, hair dryers or whatever, anything that vibrates. And, and what happens is that as you're using those tools, then your, your fingers are reacting and it's actually affecting the nerves. What happens is initially it affects the nerves and then it will recover and you'll feel it for a little while and then it's fine. But then over time, um, you will then start damaging the nerves in the hand. And the idea of calling it vibration white finger is because you know, the fingers ultimately, this is very severe, 
that the fingers ultimately um, uh, you know, will go white and you get a tingling sensation, you get a loss of use and as well as that, like a lot of the other conditions, it's difficult to move the hand, it's difficult to, uh, to do the things that you would, do, you would do normally. So that's the vibration one. And, and dermatitis, which is the other one, the dermatitis um, thing is really triggered by contact with some sort of chemicals. Typically in construction, it's cement and cement-related things, but there are other chemicals as well.